Hi everyone, this is Metal Anime and welcome back. So, um, I'm running out of storage on here. Uh, this is basically um, one of my old phones. My mom took my really good one that had a lot of storage. This one barely has any storage, which sucks, but what can I do? You know? So, yes, we are continuing this. Okay, and switch it up. Yeah. Ooh, so I'm working on another preview pasta and it's um Jeff the Killer. And I was like, ooh, okay. Um I've never read any creepy pastas or even got into it when it got really popular back then. I was like, why? But after, like, you know, seeing some people like draw videos and then creating like content like that, and then having to redo the story, I was like, okay, I like this actually. I found the stories interesting. I like, ooh, I need to read or watch. No, not watch. Well, kind of. If someone makes it, but yeah. I was like, I should do it. Um, although when I was reading about Jeff the Killer, I thought it was interesting how it was basically telling me, like, that the whole thing, <laughs> that the original story was taken down, and then they made the revamp ver version, and, oh, evolving, yes, um, they made a revamp version, and I was like, really, revamp? Like, what happened, you know? Um, it kind of makes me want to read the original before reading the revamp, but I don't know why they did that. And it's like, okay. Um, it sucks that, um, it keeps getting taken down, even though people are trying to, like, um, for people who, like, want to read it, and it sucks. Critical hit. Yep, yeah, that's going to take a while. Cool. But yeah, I tried to delete a bunch of stuff, clear everything, but apparently it isn't working. So, I don't know what's going on with this. And I am currently working on the drawing for Jeff the Killer. Ooh, and then I didn't even know that there was another version of him that was the girl one. And I think her name is Jane. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know there was another version. And then they said that, um, apparently with that one, um, they also revamped her story. Oh, and then it uh, belonged to someone else, like the um, the character and everything. And then I guess some random person changed the last name. I don't know, that's what I read. Could be wrong on this. So don't come for me on that. But. Yeah, I just found that interesting. I was like, really? That's what's going on. And then, along with like the original picture for the creepy, for Jeff the Killer, um, there's like so many sources on that. Because they were like, oh, this belonged to this, or it belonged to that. And I'm like, okay. That's interesting, like, where it belongs to. Um, I was like, really? Like, okay. I'm, a, I'm also curious if it's, like, photoshopped. Because it's, like, that would be interesting to see if it was. Or if it's, like, a mask or something.
Gus. And then, um, one of my favorite creepypastas that I've, yeah, kind of read would be Ben Drowned. Mostly because I'm into um, Legend of Zelda. And I kept seeing fan art of Ben. And I was like, oh, you know what? That looks cool. I was like, is this, you know, Dark Link? But after doing a little bit of research back then when I was a kid, slash teenager, um, they were like, no, it's not. It's not him. It's um Ben. And I was like, who is he? So I searched it up. I read the story, and I was like, oh, okay, then, cool. Family, oh, good, I made it. But yeah, I just thought that was cool. I was like, okay, interesting story to this. Um, my other favorite one would be the Pokemon Lavender Town one. Obviously, because like I love spooky stuff, and uh, when it's said like every Pokemon dies, and they go to the tower basically, and, and I was like, oh, I love that. But I really love how it's like kind of haunted, and then, like no one wants to go in. Whoops. Sorry, did not mean to do that. So I was like, oh, okay, I love this. And then, um, uh, I felt so sad when Cubone's mother died. That broke my heart. I teared up, and then, uh, obviously, like, when I got to see that in Pokemon Origins, I did as, like, fucking almost cried. Although they don't fully show everything, for sure, but it still made me sad. And then, um, how her spirit comes back, because it's not resting. Like, that just also made me sense. Like, she deserves to be put to rest, honestly, but she also didn't deserve to die. And then Cubone wearing, um, the mom's, like, skull. It's like, oh, uh -huh. I think that's cool, but at the same time, it's sad. I'm not too sure how far I want to level up these people. <laughs> um, for Wormy, I know for sure I want to level it up enough. Because I really don't want to die. Because I needed to beat into um, poison the Geodudes and then um, Big Butt, which is my, <laughs> my starter. So that's the bad thing about this. So he's my starter, or she. And then, uh, I don't want them to die. Yeah, I really don't know how this is gonna go. But yeah, there's just a lot of grinding right now. And that's the only thing I don't like about Pokemon attempts, because it's like... It's just a bunch of grinding, and then it's like it takes forever to um, start fighting um, to continue on the story. Um, same thing with, um, oh, especially during the ending, because that time is like hard to level up. Because you're like a level 60, and like I know the other people, like the gym wise people, are like also around 60. So that's like the bad thing. <laughs> mm. 
Ooh, it failed. Cool. I actually don't know how long this is gonna last because, um, due to the short storage I have in my phone. I don't like it though, honestly. Cause it's like, why do you do this to me? Like, I don't even have anything in here too. Ooh, recently started watching um, Squid Game. Cause everyone was like, oh, it's popular, you should watch it. And then I was like, okay. Um, it's not bad, I mean, I'm, I'm like on the second episode. And then from there, um, one of my favorite animes, Higurashi, finally ended, I think. Cause I think Sotsu, like, ended. Cause I was watching it yesterday, and I made it to the 15th episode, and I was like, oh, okay, they turned fucking Super Saiyans here. <laughs> um, but I was like, so did it end? Cause it just made it seem like everything ended. So I'm like, I think it did. Honestly, I did like the series Go and Sotsu, even though I wasn't too sure about it, because like, they did bring the old animation kind of-ish to some extent, but it's all shiny, and I don't like shiny animes, or like, the newer animes nowadays, because it's too shiny. And um, they made everything bright, and then what I liked about the old one, the original one, and that was made I think in 2006, that one was had like a really dark atmosphere and it's like oh it goes along with how dark this anime can be so i was like yes but no yeah it was a it was pretty good it made me like start thinking because it was like oh i didn't even know um actually i should probably not spoil it oh shit wrong thing But, yeah, I liked it though. It was interesting. I didn't think it was gonna get like another series because like the original had two seasons. And so from the two seasons, um, it's like it's based off of a board game. And so like the first season, like everyone reloops and you're just like, what is happening? And then, um, by second season they explain everything what's happening you're like oh shit there's like a bigger story to this it's not just about like little kids like normal it's like not about their normal lives basically so you're just like oh that's cool sorry i'm just trying not to spoil but yeah that's what i thought originally and then from there when I heard that it was getting a reboot, I was a little bit upset, like, last year, because I was like, really, a reboot? Um, I don't think it needs a reboot, but okay. I'm like, I'm, I'm still watching this, even though I know what's gonna happen. And then by, like, the first two episodes, um, it follows the original story. And I was like, okay, cool, like, it follows the original. But then by, like, the third or a little bit more episodes like it's still in the beginning though like it changes and you're just like the fuck that's not what happened in the original like what is happening here and then um i searched it up because it was getting like hype like to some extent it's still a little bit of an underrated show because a lot of people like never heard of it or it's like they have but they never watched it I tried to get some people to watch it and they were just like this is boring or confusing that I don't want to wait until like um, the end of season 1 which only has 25 episodes and then second season has 25 too so people are just like I don't I don't even want to watch it so I had to spoil it and then they're like that's interesting why didn't you like let me finish it's like I didn't want to finish it um but at the same time, like, the trailers, there's not many good trailers. I say that because, like, 
um, the try not to spoil it too much, and then the other half, like, they spoil it too much, and then it's, like, fakes. But, yeah, um, searched it up, and, um, some people were like, oh, so it's, it's a continuation, basically. And I was like, oh, shit, there's more to the story. I thought, like, the story ended. And I was like, okay, I'm watching. I watched it, and I was, like, so happy, and I was like, yes. As of now, I don't really have any enemies to watch, because, like, mostly watched the ones that I really wanted to, or that came out. Like, they're even, like, they're either done, or they're almost, like, done. One of the two. Yes, I was just like, okay, this is an interesting one. When I first watched it um, in middle school, it freaked me out, and I say that. Because <laughs> there were some jump scares I didn't see it coming, and then, like, ugh, it was like, creepy as fuck. Sometimes it made me cringe, because it's like, whenever they have, like, a cut or something, I'm like, ugh, I feel the cut. So that was like the bad thing, and I was like, oh, I don't like it. Yeah, since now, um, what I'll try to do is, like, make videos in my free time, and try and upload them as much as I can, because I don't know how my schedule will be for school-wise. Although I'm really happy it's finally spooky season, even though, like, there's not gonna be anyone who's gonna, like, decorate and everything for, um, for Halloween, and it sucks because I really missed that as a kid, like, being able to, like, go anywhere and then see people, like, decorate their houses with Halloween stuff. Same thing with Christmas, I miss that too, but a lot of people don't do that anymore, and I'm just like, why? Um, I kind of understand because right now it's, um, they're so epidemic and everything. Um, because last year, um, Halloween was empty, like, no one wanted to go, um, like, trick-or-treating or anything, which was understandable, because, um, uh, just COVID. <laughs> And then I really miss being back in school during like just my time because I'm like oh, I get to get out of the house, I get to just um, hang out with my friends or well I really have friends in college but it's like it's still nice to just go out there I actually um, do classes and uh Okay, that was weird. The control just like stopped working. Um, but yeah, no, I missed that because it's like 
it's a lot better to have school in person, well for me wise, cause um, if I need help with something or anything, it's like at least uh, I can ask, or like it can be explained a lot better, and I'm like, yes, I miss that a lot. And then as for being at home, it kinda sucks because I get interrupted by my mom constantly telling me to do chores in between me doing like homework. And then I'm like, um, my brother are at home, they basically just work for three days and then that's it. And then for me I have homework until like three to four days, it depends. And then I'm just like Hello, they have more time. Go tell them to do shit, not me. I have homework that I have to worry about. But other than that, it just sounds like eesh. But I get through it, so it's like, okay. Um, other than that, I don't really have any problems with online, because it's like, the good thing is that I'm able to sleep in, <laughs> to some extent. Because if I had school, I would be out of the house from like 7 or 8, depending on how early I go in the morning, until like, what, like 3 or 4 in the afternoon? And then I'll just come back to um, my house, I'll eat, and then I'll start doing homework. And then I'll try, and I'll try my best to finish it like early, as much as I can. And then now, I basically just wake up, eat, help clean. And then I start my homework by like 12-ish, and then I finish it by like 5 Mostly because I get interrupted in between that, so that's what sucks. But the other thing is that I don't have a desk in my room, so it's like, if I want to draw, I can draw. And then if I want to um, do my homework, I can do that. You know, so it all works out kind of fish. But I hated how I had to rearrange my room so many fucking times. Because my mom hated the way my room looked like. She was like, no, I want it this way or this certain way. And I'm like, I'm over it. <laughs> because I had to like constantly take out everything, you know. The other bad thing I hated about doing that is that um, my dad would just randomly show up. And then he'll be like, you didn't do shit. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Like, I had to, like, go back and forth from going into the garage, into, um, my bookcase that's here in the living room, because I had to go get some, so. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> some of my stuff back, and put them in, and then my closet was a giant ass mess, had to fix all of that, and he said that's nothing, that's like, eek, really. It took me like about two days to like put everything in my new dresser. And then a few more days, like two more days to finally fix everything. So that was the bad thing about this whole thing.
But at the end, it's kind of worth it, but not really, because now my room looks smaller. Oh, like, yikes. Okay, and just thanks. Oof. I just need like one more hit. And then basically you'll we'll see. Oh, I found a hit. Yes. Then I gained points. Although it really helped during um school when I was like really like under a lot of stress, but it'd be simply no logical because like I really love her relationship with Ben. Like when I was a kid, I really wish I had that relationship because like I watched her from the beginning till now, and like she always made me like she always cheered me up whenever I felt bad, like just depressed or. Had a lot of anxiety, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, like she's one of like the ones that I really loved. Um, eh, I mean, some people can say that I have weird taste in YouTubers, in a way. Uh, Markiplier used to be one of them too, and um, PewDiePie. But I don't know. Every time they like, simply would just um, look like she's having fun in the video, I'll be like, oh, that looks cool. Um, and I still support her content right now because a lot, a lot of people are just like. I don't like her new content where she's just like streaming all the time and um to some and to some extent i actually do agree with her because she was like when i stream i get to talk to people rather than like you know talking to myself and i'm like i feel that <laughs> i'm like i miss playing with other people like it's not just me making videos like i really miss that but some of that's gonna change because my boyfriend agreed to make videos with me. So I'm like, yes. Um, I've always wanted to do that since I was like, since I first started this, where it's like, ooh, I wish my boyfriend or it's like a friend, whoever it would be, it's like to constantly make videos. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I get to have that. Um. We're kind of deciding what we're going to do, um, but for sure, always want to stream or at least just record videos to get together, basically. I was surprised it lasted this long, okay. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, I really want to make longer videos for, like, this type of, um, let's play. I say that because of how, um, how much grinding I have to do.
Um, so, um, my birthday wasn't too long ago, and I actually had fun. And I say that because my birthdays always end in disasters. But yeah, this this room is actually pretty good. I say that because I get to spend it with my boyfriend and our friends. And the same thing with like his siblings. And it was awesome. Because like we went 